some of our favorite films on your left and right. We've made a lot of movies, 8,000 plus in the 100 years, 107 that we've been making movies. You can go to UPHE for the full list. That's our digital directory. You can purchase, download any of the movies we've ever made. UPHE.com. This all started with Mr. Carl Lemley. This guy founded our company in 1912. March 15, 1915, he took these pictures. There he is, waving his hat. He's got his key to Universal City. That's what this place is called. We're still a city to this day. We've got our own fire station on the right-hand side to prove it, too. Fire Station 51. we got our own sheriff station, our own post office, all the trappings of a normal city. But we're not normal. Dead like this. Even if it's not soundproof like it is in the sound stages. We call that our New York street that you just looked down. This guy knows his way around pretty well. I got my start right here in New York on Saturday Night Live. Soon if you make it here at the Universal Live. They make a lot of stuff here at the Universal Live. So here we are. This is meant to look like our London Square area in this area. We got a lot of different metro looks. Take a look two blocks down to the right. Yeah, they got some stuff going on down there. Wait, hi. Some production guys. Yes. They were just shooting Quantum Leap down there. I believe they're doing some rest stuff over there right now. Two blocks away, that was the classic courthouse square from Back to the Future. London Square meant to look like parliamentary building on the right. See the staircases down there? Those are our brownstone street apartments. They used them for Bruce Almighty, Jim Carrey. And they change up the street, right? They had parked cars for this, tree, parking permit only sign. All this stuff is called set decoration. Comes in for the day of production, makes it look specific so we can use the street again and again and again. And every time it looks... B-E-A-U. ...here to have a practical set with a functional interior out here. What about the brickwork, the stonework? Not a single brick, big sheets of plastic. The stone, it's foam rubber. Welcome to Hollywood, it's all fake. That's okay. The only... Are your thoughts and emotions watching the movie? That's it. I'll prove it. Let's take you to an even faker environment, huh? This one completely created inside a computer. Vehicles can define the era. They can define the character. They can define the Flintstones. Those are the first environmentally friendly cars, all foot-powered, invented by Elon Tusk. Thank you, thank you very much. We got a Harry Potter Ford Angley, we got the Angeline car from our new show Angeline on Peacock. We've got the gyrosphere from Jurassic World, it never had glass around it, the glass reflected the camera, that's no fun, right? So they added the glass digitally. We saw a Mercedes Jeep a second ago. It's a great example of what we call product placement. If you see a logo looking back at you on screen, it means that that company paid to have it there, right? And we see this with the some props from the first two movies, Jurassic Park and Lost World Jurassic Park. The mobile lab from that second movie on your left. All over big cliff face in the film. Remember, it's mostly plywood, painted to look like real. Uh-oh, uh-oh, spinners! Get the bushes! If only I'd known they were there. Time I've been spit on by dinosaurs this tour. My mouth was open again. Is it always open? You tell me, right? Is it? Is it? I am sorry. I've been trying to train him to just hit the people wearing Disney merch. How are they doing back there? I'm not, not as good as Chris Pratt. I'm still working on it. Here's the mobile lab falling over a big cliff face in the Lost World Jurassic Park. The way we make these T Rex attacks so scary, guys, we set it at nighttime. In the rain, yeah. Happens every time. And it's not just T-Rex attacks. Every big fight sequence in John Wick, nighttime raining. That big kiss in the middle of the notebook, nighttime raining. Now here's the thing, we don't shoot it, you know, a rainy place, we shoot it in sunny Southern California. We don't want it to just start raining in the middle of a nice sunny dry scene. We'd rather control all the elements. Creative control is important, that's why we're all out here. We can make it rain anytime. Just like this, yeah. Magical, isn't it? As long as you don't stick your head out to look for the sprinkler heads like half you just did, you're cheating. You can't do that. Not when you're watching the movie. You can't stick your head through the screen and look up. I'd like to see you try. Here's how you do it. Get your camera out, prop out the sprinkler heads, tell your friends outside LA it's raining here today. It works on you every time. The hard part is getting a picture of rain. Rain's clear. What you're seeing are little bits of sunlight getting diffracted in the raindrop. You have to light rain to see it. This is really hard to capture on camera. 
feel the pain of our de directors of photography, but do keep your cameras out. I'll give you something else to get a good picture of for Instagram. You see that? You guys in the fourth car do it. That's a flash flood. If you're in a blue seat, well, you might get wet. By the way, they're all blue. I just want to take a picture. And action. Oh, no. Look at that. Thousands of gallons of recycled dinosaurs. We are heading to the drier part of Old Mexico. On the left is where they shot three amigos with Steve Martin, Chevy Chase, and Martin Short, Nacho Libre with Jack Black. Let's cross the border. Six points for John Wayne, Clint Eastwood, Jimmy Stewart, and Mosey, and many classic westerns like Desperate Rides Again, episodes of Wagon Train. I'll add two big names to the list, Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, the Night Point Tarantino film shot right out here. Alright, glad we had some people that saw that Tarantino film. We're halfway through your tour, folks. If you need anything, reach out, pull that cord, otherwise remain seated. You're doing great so far. Tight grip on the cell phone, you're going to be good. These are some of our first sets. We built them in 1915. We were making up to 200 westerns a year back then. That's a lot. To be fair, all of them were silent. We had six western streets. Call it six. That song. Oh, river. Almost sank the company. It was expensive. And it, uh, it was a bad time to make an expensive movie, right? In the middle of the Great Depression? Yeah. We survived by making monster movies. By the 1950s, we were doing well. We made Creature from the Black Lagoon down here on the left. One of our weirder monsters, to be sure. Dracula and Frankenstein saved us. They both came out in 1931, and we said, great, we've got a formula. We just gotta keep doing it. Dracula, Frankenstein, Wolfman, Bride of Frankenstein, The Mummy, The Hushback of Dr. James, The Invisible Man, Phantom of the Opera, classic films. So it's just really wow. You almost never see him. Almost never. Crazy. Speaking of things you've never seen, check out that 2020 Invisible Man movie. That's to the rest of you, welcome to Little Europe, a.k.a. The Good Place. No other shows from Undead. Cool. This location, the afterlife. I have never ever seen this. You're in the Good Place. I'm not supposed to be here. Great show. It's on Netflix. Go check it out. See all those cars on the right. They look kind of 80s. Like It just takes you right back to the 80s looking at those cars. It's amazing how technology can do that. They're all cars from Quantum Leap. They were just out on our Metro sets the other day. We had telephone booths out there, right? But the, all those things that just take you right back to that era. So they're parked around here right now. Just a, an extra parking lot. But that was the Court of Miracles. Lon Chaney chased down by... You're right. We're in South Stage 50. It's meant to look like a San Francisco subway station. What are you seeing out there? Should we be nervous for you? You, you got this covered? Officer? What's that? Sir, I can't really hear what you tells us that he's callous, that he knows what he's doing. White, it's the opposite. It's a color of innocence. It's well ascribed to young Miriam Crane. Look at that car on the right. That's what she drives as she approaches the Bates Motel at night in the rain. Like you do in a big scary scene. I'll see you guys at the end of the tour. Come down, man. 